Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got just a thing. Not just this stuff you thought of pharmacy, you know. I'm working on some real eh, top-notch games. That'll give you a real kick. You yeah, interested? to say the way you said that i am interested are you cooking up something different that we i like the hat don't know about looking for something to give you a little boost let's see here you actually do not have a lot of oh you have a ton of stim packs but we do not have a ton of tickets can I be selling you some of my inventory or aid that I do not need? Let's take a look. You know, I got to say there's I didn't I'm not finding anything that I really just want to part I want to part with. So, we're going to back on out of that then. Now, I did want to ask about the work though. To give you a little boost. I think I need to yeah. start asking about the yeah. work before yeah, yeah, I start yeah. looking yeah. at their inventory. I'm working on some Oh wait. Got any work? Box bulbs. You know, Mutated. Got off a field. Ain't glowing. Got any? Need one more ingredient. Looking for some box bulbs if you find any. Natural radiation suckers. Oh, some grow deep in the canyons. Should be great for cooking up these chems. I'm trying to make this awesome chem I hear about. The Black Death. Um, well, you see, the Black Death is like a dance party in your brain. Except all the dancers are tiny fluorescent jellyfish. And they're all wearing top hats and monocles. And the music. Oh, it's just the sound of a thousand cats meowing in unison. And you die of the plague. Trust me, man. You gotta try it. Really? Have we not learned about the plague? I mean, I mean, what? <laughs> Hear me out, man. I need that pox bowl for some serious alchemy. You know what I mean? Go brew up some natural remedies and potions to heal my mind, body, and spirit. The power of nature is amazing, dude. And I want to harness it. All right, he's out there for sure. Uh, he already said what they look like. Let's see if he's going to add anything to it real quick. What's what's the pox bulb? Oh, man. I can't even begin to describe it. They're like, well, beyond our comprehension. It's like bubbles of rock coming out of rancid lava sap. It smells bloody disgusting. So, yeah, I need more of them. Okay, we'll get we'll find we'll find some. Yeah, all right. Gonna need like ten. Don't let the Gehenna bite. The Gehenna? What the heck's that? Now he mentioned that they're they're deep in the canyons. Someone else mentioned something about canyons. I have a feeling we must be in that area. Uh, all right. So, oh, he walked away from us. Oh, I guess we didn't really have anything to purchase from him, anyways. Angelica. Yeah, you don't want to talk. Ooh, I like that chest. Alright, so maybe I, I probably don't need to speak to everyone unless there's some an actual vendor. I see strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? I feel like you must be because oh no, there are people around here. There are there are others, so you could be talking to anybody. Well, now I have to talk to you. There's nothing like the sound of nature during a lazy afternoon. Oh, I agree with that. I agree with that. I'll let you guys do your thing. Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. Oh, we already talked. We already saw those guys. Any other vendors? I mean, we need weaponry. We need ammo. I think I'm somewhat alright with the armor. I mean, because it's... 
I think the armor is actually pretty good. Uh, it's got to be stealing, right? Yeah. Hey, buddy. What are you reading? May the canyon bless you. I think that's what I heard someone else say to us. So, yeah. I mean... Oh. What is that? Is that an arm power armor leg? No, I don't think so. All right, so tribal must be like just the, the general people here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we're not going to take anything off of off of that. That is for sure. Oh, are you running a, uh, uh, we don't need food. There's a big tent. I want to be able to make these things. Those look cool. Luxury. All right. So the Tommies were protecting these people, right? Because Tommies were on the path leading... Whoa. Uh. All right. I was already starting to feel those vibes here, but now they're a hundred percent happening. Chief Roach. The cannon bless you, friend. Thank you for allowing me into your home. Um, hello. Just tell me you speak English. Dear God, put on some, put some trousers on. Um, hello? Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Brickton. I am Roach. You may think of me as a leader, but I merely embody the Kenyan's desire. Before we begin, I must ask, why is a raven like a writing desk? Why is a raven... Like a writing desk. I have an excellent idea. Let's change the subject. Because both produce notes. Oh, interesting. Uh, what does this have to do with me? Because I've punched both. <laughs> Don't know, do you? Uh, they both produce notes. Ah, an intelligent answer. Now, how may I help you? Uh, why aren't you wearing clothes? Why are you wearing clothes? Because someone told you to? Because someone forced you to? I am merely following my instincts. The one thing the canyon gave me in her infinite wisdom. So the other guy earlier said, wouldn't you feel better with less clothes on? All right, so there's a thing here, but everyone's wearing clothes except for that one guy we just saw that was topless reading the newspaper or whatever. Um, where did you come from? Like you, I come from the canyon. And I shall return to it once my days are over. But I know that's not what you want to know. The truth is, I don't remember who I was before I became Roach. I wanted a clean start. So I erased my memory through a mix of hallucinogenics and minor head wounds. And I'd do it again if I remembered the recipe. Something they must be um Canyon uh Canyon. Uh, what do I want to say? <laughs> Zealots, basically. What's your problem with it? Oh, wait. They have problem with the Tommies? I mean, the Tommies were just outside. The Tommies think they're here to civilize us simply because we don't follow their beliefs and codes. But tell me, what worth is there in an ideology that has destroyed the world ten times over and left it to rot? I would take dying from preventable diseases a thousand times over destroying the world with my ignorance. Okay, I'm still confused as to why. So are they just keeping an eye on you then? I thought this place was called Brixton. Oh, I missed something there. The outsider supposes their toes is a rosies, but the outsider supposes erroneously. That is the name so kindly gifted to us by the Tommies. Alongside the mother of all headaches. That reminds me of an important question. What came first? The chicken or the egg? Neither. The brain. But what? You're perfect. I have a job for you. Listen well. The 
the Tommies have been attempting to contact an isolated tribe in nearby Croydon. We hoped they'd abandon the idea once they realized the path was blocked by two large gaps. But no. Instead, they were emboldened, and their mighty Lieutenant Doyle sent an expeditionary force. Two soldiers, one second lieutenant, and a few Brictonians who were there to build bridges, literally and metaphysically. Except those plans failed when the half-built bridges collapsed, plunging all but two of my tribe's people into the river of lava. Oh my. You can see where this is going, right? Um, whatever it is, it'll cost you. You want me to kill Lieutenant Doyle? Got it, I'll do it. Can you please get to the point you want to get vengeance on the lava? No, not really. Uh, let's uh, let's let him um, let, uh, fully explain it on out. Let me explain. Lieutenant Doyle blames Brickton for the incident and has vowed to raise our taxes to make up for this incident. Taxes we never agreed to pay. We seek nothing but peace. And so we beseech you, go to Lieutenant Doyle and convince him to choose peace. Um, no man's wasteland. Speak to Lieutenant Doyle. All right, so we know where he is. We have not come across Croydon yet, though. Um, uh, so, so how much are you paying me, then? If you could change Lieutenant Doyle's mind, we'll pay you a fraction of the additional taxes. But if you can't do it, well, then I suppose those tickets will go straight to Doyle's despicable palms. Like, would this be, like, a weekly thing? A monthly thing? I would love that. Uh, what do you want me to do again? How are things in Brickton overall? Let's see if there's anything else yes, he wants to tell us about this place. Life in Brickton is perfection, particularly when we are left unbothered, unmucked, and untouched by the outside world. With their loud devices and their even louder claptraps, unable to enjoy even a pure moment of silence. And don't even get me started on their so-called radio programs. Always going on and on and on and on and on. I'm sorry. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, do we want to... Can we ask questions about him himself? Yes. Why aren't you wearing any clothes? Why are you wearing clothes? Because someone oh, told you to. Oh, so it's, just, it's cycling back through those. Okay, all right. May the canyon bless you with luck. May the canyon do so. Whoa. All right. All right, so let's go talk to Lieutenant Doyle. Who was back through here, right? Oh, how I wish we could stay. Yeah, like I want to talk to this guy. The hat. Noah Woodward. Oi. G'day there, mate. Lovely day for a walkabout, eh? Hey? You're Australian. What are you doing out here? My wife ran off with a Spanish fella, and I heard they were camping around here. Have you seen him? Or is he? I don't know. Maybe he's not. I could be wrong. I I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't... Oh, maybe so? <laughs> I'm just pulling your tit, mate. That's not why I'm out here. My wife's dead. Yeah, captured by slavers and forced to work in radiation fields until her skin sloughed off her bones like wax paper. Yeah. Oh, I miss her every damn day. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I think I... Uh, wow, I have to go. Uh, no, sorry to hear that, man. That sounds brutal. Nah, <laughs> I got you again, you bloody drongo. That's not how she died. It was just run-of-the-mill colon cancer. Anyway, after she kicked it, I got a job out here as a border guard. Name's Woodward, by the by. Now, can we believe him now? Uh, what sort of guard out there? We don't take too kindly to unsavories in Croydon. I'm here to make sure traders can come and go without getting bushwhacked. Speaking of getting bushwhacked... You look like the rough and tumble sort. Maybe you can help me out. You see, the only way a man stays sane watching this godforsaken border all hours of the bloody day and night is with a little help from some coldies, a nutty mag or two, and a metric fuck ton of amphetamines to stay awake. <laughs> what? Problem is, I haven't seen a trader come through here in weeks, 
and I'm running mighty low on all three. I've been manning this post for long enough to know that means a new gang of bloody assholes has moved into the old radar station down in Wandsworth. Oh, is that where we were? Traders headed this way. If you could go and clear out whatever aggro cunts occupying the radar so the traders can deliver my supplies, I'd be mighty grateful. I'd certainly make it worth your while. I think that's that's the group we were just messing around with. Tell me more about these hooligans, though. Well, I've told you just about all I know about this lot in particular. I haven't been able to leave my post. But I will say that radar station is like a magnet to nutty cunts that are typically madder than a cut snake. The one time I've been there, the whole bloody place was messier than a dog's breakfast. Just blood and viscera and whatever mad cunts had lived there before strewn about every which way. Needless to say, I had a bit of a liquid laugh at the sight of it. Just a bloody cherry on top of that shit, Sunday. But that's just how that hellhole is. A gang of mad cunts moves in, stays a while, then a new gang of even madder cunts moves in and slaughters the old ones. What a bloody mess. Fuck, I need a fucking smoke. And remember, there's a legendary in there also. Is there somebody right here? Oh, that's that's us. Um, all right, we'll, we'll definitely do it at some point. I don't know how soon it'll be, though, unless you're willing to come with us. You absolute beauty. God bless you, mate. You know where to find me when the job's done. God save our gracious queen. Where Long women live, glow and men plunder. Queen. Clear the radar station. All right, but it seemed like there was more we could have talked to you about. Back so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, how's life out here? What did you need me to do again? I should be on my way. I have some questions for you. All right, then. Anyway. Uh, come and say good... Wait, come and say good day. I'll slap an extra shrimp on the bar. <laughs> what? Anything interesting happen out here? Not really, no. Spend most of me days staring off into space, watching the bush telly. Every now and again, a ghoul will wander down the old road there and give me some target practice. But most of the time, I can kick back and crack a coldie, because it's quiet as a baby cemetery out here. Speaking of cracking coldies... I like this guy. I wish he could come with us. Uh, but yeah, let's... <laughs> a shrimp on the Barbie. All right, then. Anyway. Okay, all right, that's all. He didn't have anything else. Um, I don't have any more I questions. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, well, I'll be here if you ever change your mind. Okay, uh, I need to get... How do I get out of here? I should be on my way. Makes sense. See you soon, I hope. I see strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. That's what she said. All right, you guys are sharing dreams. Ooh, what's it? Did I come over here? Oh, there's the lava. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I, I came up here, but I didn't go over here. How did I not see this bright light? Whoa. All right. I'm wondering if that's the canyons. All right. So what? This is an elevator that goes across. It has to go across. Yeah. All right, let's we'll call this back just so it's here. Maybe. Yeah. All right, so we're, that's good. Let's go find Lieutenant Doyle, was it? He wasn't back there. Oh, can we get a better look of the canyons from up here? You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. Uh, not really. Not really a better look. All right, now where exactly was Doyle? I just know he was... Oh, is he right around... We opened this 
door. He's over here. That's him right there, isn't it? Doyle. We got a chat, my friend. Stand down. Wait. You're not one of us. Who are you? Uh, is there a way for me to join? Oh, can we? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was possible. Who are you? I'm Lieutenant Doyle of the Brixton Division. What am I doing? I'm the one who's asking the questions here. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, is there a way for us to join? That's not for me to decide. But having taken a quick glance, I think we could make something out of you. I'd stop by the Imperial War Museum, unless you're a rabble rouser, in which case, don't. Okay, so we've been there. We've been there. Um, I walked in and just kind of walked around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we didn't talk to anybody. Um, do we want to say we're a representative of Brixton? I, I like the sir aspect. Or just straight up, Roach asked me to talk to you. Uh, let's just say Roach asked us to talk to him. Ah, Roach. I knew you seemed like a tree hugger to me. I'll tell you. You just said I was the Tommy material. I've told him countless times. Either they own up to their mistakes and establish contact with the Croydonians, or we'll be raising the tithe by 20% this year. And God knows what else we'll have in store for next year. Wow. All right. So who were the people in the crew? I assume he's talking, we're asking about the, uh, the accident, right? Two brave soldiers, privates Clarkson and Whitterford. Are I you believe. sure about that? And of course, my friend, second Lieutenant Buckley, their lives now lost forever. Why do you want to go after the Croydonians? I think we know why. Let's see what he has to say. As part of Her Majesty's beautiful country, it is their duty to pay their fair dues and participate in our laws. Isolation is no longer an acceptable excuse for inaction. Okay, so is he just is he holding on to the past? Uh, so if I find the people of Croydon, you'll let Brickton off? Yes. That's precisely what I said. Switch on, won't you? Now, is there anything else I can do to stop you from wasting my time? Wow. Uh, is there a way, uh, who are you about the about the mission? Now uh, we have to go. On the double, then. Move it! Mind the gap and all that. All right, so now we need to find Croydon. Uh, where might that be? There's Brickton. This is, I think this is the radar station we need to clean out, or clear out. Um, do we just need to go through the canyons? Is that what this is here? Is this, is this can all canyons right here? Huh. Well, let's come back here. What time is it? I don't even know if we have a place. It's five o'clock. I don't, I don't even know if we have a place to sleep here. Although the tennis museum is not far. Let's see what's going on over here. And we might be able to find those pox, whatever. Was it pox bulbs? For the one guy. Now, there's gotta be some creatures in here, right? Was this, is this like one of the bridges they were building or something more like that? There's another Pindar. Whoa. C 
Croydon bus. I mean, could no one else make this trip? Was it impossible? Whoa. Whoa, what? What's that? Oh, that's an ash person. That's... All right, Croydon Pindar. I mean, we, we could pretend... Oh, it requires term... Oh, there we go. Build a bridge... Wait. Build a bridge deeper into Croydon. Access... Uh, all right, I didn't get to read all that. Uh, what did it say? Access... I think it said something about access blueprints or something. Secure the workshop at Sunshine Tides. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, concerned about the hostile takeover nearby area. If I can clear it out... I wonder if I just activate the, uh, walk up to that workbench, if that will fix that. Access the building supplies in Croydon Pindar. Okay. Survivor's log. Don't knock. Cardi, I've locked a bunch of commuters in the Pindar with the building supplies. Sorry, mate. Had no choice. S's, S's left. <laughs> Croydon shifted again. Place feels more fragile than ever. If not for the Pindar, I wouldn't recognize where I was. So much has fallen away since we were last here. Tread lightly. I don't trust those commuters to not force their way out, so don't give them the motivation, yeah? Leave them to it. Anyway, if you're reading this, you've made it. I'll be holed up nearby with, with any luck by the time you finish reading this, I've crept up behind you. <laughs> That's a little weird. Uh, now, I know you have a lot of reasons to after what we went down today. Or wait, after what went down today, but don't shoot me. Okay, all right. What went down? Uh, ruminations. You're not here yet, and I've got nothing but time, it seems. Getting to Croydon was rough. Those settlers per, uh, pursued further than I thought they would. Can't imagine how rough it must be for you right now. Sorry it all went to S, mate. I thought it'd be a smash and grab. Didn't think they'd put up much of a fight. They had a cardboard constable cruel as a lookout. FFS. Not sure what that is. Uh, I'll make this up to you. Swear I will. Just don't know how yet. It's changed so much since we were last here. There's barely any back routes left now. It's about time we put the construction cash to use. Reopen some of the routes. Mind you, uh, some will have to dig back open. Others have planes to come to the lava. Thought you were pin uh, pinging me earlier. There I was, sat in my arse, sweating like a Tommy in a tea shop. Some dodgy radio signals interrupted Crystal Palace. Is that you, Cardi, I thought? Couldn't be as it's talking about something further into Croydon, and we never go further into Croydon, right? Okay. Peace offering. Find the key in the Crystal Palace maze. I let you down, Cardi, but I can make it up to you, maybe even before you arrive. I know the deal. We don't go further into Croydon, but I can make this right. Those weird radio messages are still parroting the same thing. Do you have what it takes to navigate the Crystal Palace maze? Feels like a broken transmission repeating some pre-recorded malarkey. Doesn't matter what it is other than it's something. If it's some broken transmission that suddenly started, then something has, has, has to be suddenly making the transmission, right? Maybe it's a robot. Maybe they'll have some decent parts. High-grade circuitry. I need circuitry. Or maybe there's people I can rob blind there. I don't give a flying F at this point. I'm going to give it a visit. Hopefully this day won't won't have been for nothing and you'll forgive me. If you go to the Pindar before I'm back, hunker down somewhere. I've still got the Pindar key on me. No, I wasn't about to leave you the key. I don't trust you to not try to gun those commuters alone. Uh, gun down those commuters alone. When I'm back from this maze place, I'll share what I've got and we'll unlock the door. Deal? With those commuters, grab your stuff. We can build our way back out of here. Croydon's been good for us. The Pindar's been a great hide, but the place is shifting so much these days, it feels like we're flying a bit too close to the sun now. Don't you think? Catch you soon, cloth. Too close to the sun and the lava? All right. Insert the Pindar key. We don't have it. So we need to find where is this maze? Oh, wrong button. Oh, we didn't get a... A map marker for the maze. Now I know there's a Crystal Palace radio. I'm Olivia. I'm Roger. 
And this is... Crystal Palace Radio. The Crystal Palace Radio. Oh, I thought we were adding the the. We've never added the the before. Sorry, sorry. Do we do it again? It's live, Roger. It's live. Our next song is a request from regular listener, Arthur I. Thank you, Arthur. He says, I dedicate this song to everyone who dreams of an orange-colored sky. Strange thing to dream of, but I appreciate the sentiment. Here's Nat King Cole. Okay, I know early on we listened to that channel. I don't know if that was the same thing. Uh, but I don't... What was this meant? Greetings, fellow listeners. You're on the mend with Nigel the Nihilist. I spilt my tea over the label with this song. I think it's ever on brand. I'll go with that. Alright, I was thinking it might have something to do with that quest. Uh, let's double check in here. Is there anything... Letting us know, like, where this crystal maze is? I know the deal. We go. We don't go further into Croydon. So I think. Uh, sorry, something has to be. All right, this transmission. Hunker down, sir. I still got the Pindar key on me. All right, maybe maybe the the previous one. I don't see anything there. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess we could come through here. Got protectrons. And I don't know if I should be taking you out or if we can just kind of move by you. take a lot of damage our gun does not do much damage to you again we do not have the ammo all right oh wait could this be oh no those are people those are those are those are people i thought those might have been the pox things all right so we can just go past you Oh, at least the oh, one was a league one, the other one was just purely a bowling pin. The till. I like that. Well done. Oh, am I not supposed to be going through there? You know what? It actually might be. It's better without the light. So these, this must be all this. I, I don't know what the girders is. It, are they girders? I was, gonna, I was gonna call them rebar, but girders that were here for whatever, and then they're just play. They're just placing the stuff along. That's pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was not expecting you. Although I don't know why I was not expecting you. I should have. Oh, there's an upstairs. All right, let's try. The shotgun worked well in the Pindar. 
Oh, there's not a lot of ammo. And it worked well when we hit him in, when he got headshots. Uh, nothing there. Oh, I don't like this. I, we don't we camp from that range. Oh, you ran off. Which is interesting. Take the noodle cup. Why did you run off? Can I drag you all the way back to my turrets? <laughs> I don't want to go just running backwards. I'm falling the lava. Certainly, we gotta check this out. Post office. Stayed away from you, pump. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stayed away from you also. Although, maybe. Alright. These are friendly ones. They are not. Oh, that's. <laughs> that was terrifying. So the doubles are friendly. The si oh, the singles are not. Is that is that what the dealio is here? You know what? I should have gone. Oh no 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 no! I should have gone up. I should have gone upstairs. Certainly he can't go upstairs. Go all the way back. There he is. Now these guys are kind of these guys are tough. Should I just run into the uh, the post office? Yeah, look at that. Zero damage. Alright. Getting on in. Alright. Do need light. And unfortunately, obviously, he's going to be out there when we go back out. That's an advanced. Just in case. Take the postman's hat. Love it. Out of order. All right. Now I believe the sign. Oh, we need a key. Only sorting room keys can unlock. All right. So we need a sorting room key. There was that door, obviously, at the front. Let 
Now, it is pretty close to this guy. And there could be something... Oh, wait. Maybe that door actually goes nowhere. If we can just get by the guy. Or maybe this is the way to get by without activating him. Oh, it's too difficult. Can I do this? Oh! Oh, he's legendary. Um. Hopefully he can't open. Oh, he can open doors. He can open doors. He can open doors. Uh, throwables, 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 throwables. What do we got? What do we got? That, I, that, those are not the buttons I need. Those are not the buttons I need. Uh, let's see. We do have a pulse mine. We have the trigger mine. 150 damage. 101 damage. I like 150. Now let's get you. Wow, my buttons are all over the place. Let's get you there. Let's also get. All right, so you're 101. Let's get you there. Did I actually? Yeah. All right. Full smile. Sears. Back it up with a frag. Where you at? Oh yes! Let's all beat it up on the road, boss. That's a good start. Now just keep running and we'll call it even. I need the key. I can't see through there. Oh, and there's a safe. There we go. There's two. I don't hear sound. And who gets to clean up all this blood? Me. That's who. And he's back. All right, so uh, it's got to be Just working now. Trundling around looking for something that wants to blow me to flinders. Uh, why must you humans always resort to violence? How is he? How is he missing that mine? Did I? I must have laid it. Oh, he barely took any damage. All right, that's not going to work. There's no way the Molotovs are going to do anything. Um, I think our only other option right now would be to kind of we got to run and see if we can't find the key and then make our way back here. Even if we have to run outside real quick, or maybe uh, no, yeah, that door, that one door doesn't go anywhere I think we got to play cat and mouse I'm just afraid I'm going to be the mouse <laughs> 